Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To my loyal viewers and subscribers, a people without knowledge of their past history, origin and culture is like a tree without roots. Yeah, most Jamaican people are like that. If you have no confidence in your confidence in yourself, you are twice defeated in the race of life. But with confidence, you won even before you started. Yes, that's a quote from the late Marcus Garvey. And you know, as a people, when I think that Jamaican people lack is self-confidence. Yes, you can see Jamaican people eat being black, they eat everything about themselves. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, we at the channel are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Jamaica Young Police Channel does not tell lies as it is not in our DNA. Whatever you hear here is the truth and nothing but the truth. If we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel saying anything that is not true, well, you can come here and correct the same. A wise man, yes, a wise man can change his mind, but a fool can't because he's a fool. A fool will never, ever know that he's a fool even when it is pointed out to the fool that he's a fool because all he's talking about is foolishness yes remember never you must never try to educate a fool because the fool will eat you only a friend will tell you the truth before we begin the begin today's video we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel want our audience and detractors to know that anything that we have said here that is incorrect you can reach out to us and we will give you the chance to correct the same to us the first and foremost thing about us and the Jamaica Young Police Channel is our character credibility and reputation we have never slandered or defamed anyone's name on this platform whatever you are hearing here is the truth if the truth shall kill those who ate the truth let it kill them Remember that we said before, those who do not know the truth are fools and those who knew the truth and call it a lie is a depraved and criminal minded people. At the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we want all... Yeah, yeah. Yes, my loyal viewers and subscribers, you know, um, you know, I haven't done a video in a long time. You understand? So, um, today is October 8th, um, 2022 and it's like 1 p.m. my time. So I just want you guys to know, um, as you know, this is the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You understand? Where, you know, we do not support criminality. Criminality, no way. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, all criminals, as I said before and I'll say it again, I believe in criminals must live in fear for their lives and not the law abiding citizens. You understand? I do believe in preemptive strike as the United States uh, military have done when dealing with terrorists. What we have in Jamaica are not criminals, they are terrorists because they terrorize the community and instill fear in the law abiding citizens. As we have seen even this week, one guy named Motomba is responsible for killing seven Jamaicans. You understand? And I'm citizens. These people are not war or anything. These are law abiding people. Even a woman that was sleeping in her bed with her boyfriend. So these people are not terrorists. As you know that my you know that I have a lot of haters. Um, some of them are police, were police, are affiliated with police. Some of them um, they were affiliated, um, you know, with um, you know, um, with our thief in police, the Ricky, um, the late Ricky Bailey, who, you know, who was a coke cool robber, big time and all kind of thing. And some of these people they are you know they are drug mules. You understand what I'm saying? Boarded. You understand? When I say boarded, you know, you know what I mean. You understand as a Jamaican. Um, one thing I can tell you is that you know, I am a guy who has never, ever been scared of anyone. You understand what I'm saying? And anything that I have said, I can say, it, and I say it without any apology. If you're a thief in police, I I do not respect you and anything there. You understand? You know, and it's just simple as that. And um, so you know, that, 
they, they have been trying a campaign now to smear my to smear my good name, you know. Yes, they're trying to smear the good good name of Christopher Porter, yeah man. Yeah, you know, trying to smear the good name of Chris Porter. As you, you know, as you can see, all of my enemies, you know, are criminals, you know, thief in police, criminal police, police who rob people. You understand what I'm saying? Police will do all kind of things. So um, they're going on, going around now. It's a new thing, you know. So you understand? We're the, the, um, we're the telling people, you know, telling lies on me, you know, that oh, that's I am the one who that's yes, that you know, um, sharing um, articles, some newspaper in Jamaica that yes, he's the one, and with my picture, you know, he's the one who killed um, the madman, um, Michael Gill. Hey, look here. Let me tell you something. I have never ever um, involved in Michael Michael Gill KSP, right? I know nothing about it. You understand what I'm saying? I the only thing I can tell you is that um, the same criminal police guy that um, that his friends kill the same guy, you know. Remember, you know, it's same police that killed Ricky Bihelli, you know. Same thief in police from St Andrews South, you know who involved in all kind of shenanigans with him, you know. I am not involved in anything with these people, you know, because I don't like thief in police. You understand? Everybody will tell you that, you know, one thing with me, you know. I don't like thief in police, period. So I don't involve in them and, you know, them robbing people of them, coke and all them things there. And you understand what I'm saying? You, you, you understand? So he was the, he's the one, you know, along with um, two other police who rob a woman. Uh, um, or jo uh, the woman jugs and money at, in Patrick Gear and police here and have to return it back on with a hefty apology. You understand? So, so now that they, you know, now that um, because I am eating out against their criminal friends who were in the police force or who are in the police force, you know, some of them um, they decide to you know form an alliance against me. Hey, look. Uh, these country people and these blue ones, they, can, they cannot stop what I am doing because what I am doing, I am just speaking the truth, you understand what I'm saying? So you can conjure up all kind of things, try to smear my name and all them things, you understand? Yeah, so, you know, Michael Gale, I, Michael, well, it's 1999, yeah, yeah, you know, I was nowhere near it, so, you know, those who are trying to smear my name and, you understand what I'm saying, to say, well, He's the one who is responsible. Hey, be my guest because I am not the guy. Anything that I have done in my past, I am not ashamed of anything. As a police officer and as a you know a former member of the United States military, because I serve in a country with honor, courage, and commitment. You understand? That's why I was willing to give my life for this country because you know there are certain things when you come on, you know. They, um, when they come on to you serving in the military, they show you that amount of respect. You understand what I'm saying? And they treat you as family. You understand? You know, so, you know, so it's just ludicrous. It's just ridiculous of what these people are co um, coming up with. I don't know what else now. I don't know what's the next thing now they'll be coming up with if I'm um, what? Uh, oh, that's, why. Well, maybe they're going to say, no, well, why? He's the one who killed Willie Agatha. He's the one who killed. Block a douche and all kind of thing, cause these people, you know, hey, these blow ones, you know, they are dangerous, you know. You understand what I'm saying? You know, because they know how to smear people, they man spread propaganda. Cause you know, lies, you know, lies tra travel faster than the truth, you know. You understand what I'm saying? Look, man, you know, any come come better than that. You understand? Because those who know me and know my character and my credibility, you understand, and know the kind of person I am. They know that one thing with me, I am not the kind of person who is afraid to own and take responsibility for whatever I have done in my life. You understand? One thing, as I say and I continue to say, no police can say that I am a thief. None. Because I have never robbed anybody. I don't, I don't like thief in police and I do not believe police to rob people. And most police know the kind of um, stance that I have taken. From when I was at training school, that's the way I was raised by my parents. You understand? So these blow hands and all these people who are talking all kind of crap. Yeah, let them continue to talk. So if you want to buy into their nonsense, you continue to buy into it. You understand? But look, please, just, just save it. And uh, it's when they're sending things around about me in that fashion and everything. Yeah, thanks for sharing. But you know, it's been going on for a while and they continue it. And 
You understand what I'm saying? And I don't care who the bo um the, the, the boarded the boarded um, Merkel want to share things, you understand? Because number one, they cannot uh, um these people they cannot even say that I I've even make any advances to any any one of them or any anyone who's related to them. You understand what I'm saying? Because I I don't mix, it's not everything I don't mix and mingle with certain kind of bungle. You understand what I'm saying? That is just me. You know? So yeah, rest in peace, Michael Gill. It's just that's how it is, a part of life and them thing. You understand? I when you come on to people with mental illness, I treat them totally different. You understand? You know, at one time there was a in a standoff out by um, free zone for over three hours and I was the one who was able to um, to you know to cool on the temperature of what was happening there so you know all those blow ones who talk and all kind of crap they can continue but uh, one thing you cannot stop you cannot stop this movement because this movement is about this movement is all about to restore dignity and peace tranquility and for the Jamaican people, especially women, children, old, young, supposed to live without um, without living in, live without fearing any criminal. The criminals are the ones who are supposed to live with fear of losing their lives, not the law abiding citizens. You understand? Because we believe in preemptive strike. And we believe that everyone in Jamaica must be armed. You understand? Once they have, once they pass all the necessary background, background checks. You understand? Yes, you know that that's that is just my stand. I am against all criminals, whether police or no police. For you're a criminal, for you involving criminal activity, robbing people, and involving um all kind of drugs, shenanigans. You understand? You're not supposed to be robbing people as police man. You understand what I'm saying? So this little boat, um, the, you know, the, <laughs> the boat that and all them thing there. So they, you know, they they. They are free to say what they want to say, you understand? But uh, just let me make it clear to you guys, I am not, I am not and I was not involving Michael Gill, um, um, death, period, full stop. And I am, not, um, I am not going to comment about it anymore. The reason why, um, you know, my, my, um, my name and rank was involved is, the CMT Finn police officer, the one that um, that his friends killed on New Year's Eve, 20, New Year's 2020, um, Ricky Bailey is his friends. You understand? Who, you know who are involved in the co the cocaine trade. They are the same ones who kill him, and he's the one who put my name in the in the entry when um, when Michael Gill was killed. That that same um, bo um, boy from Saint Mary. So I don't even worry about them. You understand? So have yourself a beautiful day. Yeah, as you can see, you know, enjoying the weather and stuff like that. But I had to respond because, you know, it has been going on for a long time now, every minute. And so now, you know, they are trying to advance their their new um, attack on me. But tell them, bring it on. You understand? I can't take it. You have yourself a beautiful day. And if you haven't subscribed to the Jamaica Young Police Channel, yeah, man, it's time for you to subscribe. Have yourself a beautiful day. One love. Peace. Yeah, so as you have heard from you know my commentary, yeah, that is just like outside of you know my home. Yes, that's home. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and to the police officers who are in Jamaica, yes, that I am wheelchair bound and you know I'm st I'm still in the military hospital. Yeah, you can see that. That's me walking. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so all the liars who are telling people that yes, him crippled, him this, him just in a wheelchair make attack all kind of him eat the police because um, them tell lie through police they tell lie on him cowboy them they tell lie on him and Ricky Bailey he make carry belly hey look man as I said and I will continue to say before in life I'm on repo him so they understand I do believe in doing to others as as you would like others do to you. It's just simple as that. I don't tell lies on people because I hate them. I just speak the truth. That is just me. And when you know my name is being slandered out there and people defaming my name and trying to you know cast all kind of 
aspersions against me to you know to damage my good name in the public sphere I have to defend it you know because I know it's still coming because you know people keep quietly asking questions on um, Instagram Twitter Facebook and the likes and I have to be keep answering so this is my answer to the entire thing as I said stated and I stated before yes can maybe the next thing they come with that I am responsible I kill Willie I got and block a douche I wasn't even nowhere near there you understand that because um, Willie I got and I we had our differences yes we have our difference but at the time that was rectified from in the 90s you understand in you know my cousin Bogle and all of that it was you understand what I'm saying and the reason being is that it wasn't that problem with Willie Agat and and me it didn't it wasn't because of me why we had any disagreement or anything like that it was another police office he was disrespecting police officers and I was there so I have to take because you know as a senior personnel and a person who was in charge of what I was doing today I had to take it up in and and address it but you know you know people who are from my community once you're not supporting them on their bad behavior the first thing that they're gonna say that you're a labor rights you're not a PMP because if you're a PMP you don't support them or uh, you know so that was it and you know everything was worked out you know because he was very very disrespectful there that day that night not to me but to the other police officers and I took it personally only lo and behold the same in the same night the same police officers at William Agard as disres disrespect he and them were, they were dancing and drinking champagne and guess what when it was offered to me I refused it I didn't want nothing from him you know he apologizes and you know with you know Bogle and you understand because before everything escalated Bogle was able to tamp down the temperature most people don't understand that Gerald that Bogle is the kind of person Bogle wasn't a violent person he's not a person who create problem you know want to this confrontational thing with people or police he's very respectful this is a man who had passed the police test you know the same day as me 1986 and because of people he, you know pleasing me and me and people by top jungle he didn't want to be an informer and that's how you know his life he chose that part and I continue on my journey yes so an another reminder to you you know I have nothing to do with Michael Gill so I don't want anyone to ask me any question about Michael Gill anymore rest in peace Michael Gill and his family and that's all I have to say I have nothing to do with it have yourself a beautiful day Jamaica Young Police Channel